Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about five ways Ubuntu 22.10 is a massive improvement over 22.04. Myself, Muhammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, as we got Ubuntu 22.10, a question comes into mind that should we upgrade to it from 22.04 or if there are any improvements in terms of features, properties and functionalities in 22.10 that we should opt for it instead of staying with 22.04. Well, 22.04 is an LTS release. On the other hand, 22.10 is not LTS and it will get supported only for 9 months. So this is another factor that can force you to stay with 22.04. But wait, there are some features and improvements that are there in 22.10 that you will not see in 22.04. So let's talk about 5 such features. First one is Genome 43. Well, let me open my terminal. Here I'll use a utility as NeoFetch. I'll hit enter. So here we have all the information about the system and in terms of desktop environment, Ubuntu 22.10 is using Genome 43. And because of that, we have a lot of improvement in terms of the GUI and other functionalities of our Ubuntu. For example, you can see we have a new wallpaper available in here. And other than that, we have new toggle menu. You can see now all of these are more like capsules and with fewer clicks, you can achieve more. For example, if you just click on your wide, from here it will give you all the available Wi-Fi networks available and you can connect to any one of those available. Other than that, earlier we did not have screenshot icon available in this toggle menu and now it is available in here because of Genome 43. You just need to click on it and you can take screenshot directly from here. Other than that, you can see we have more options in here. For example, you have dark mode, airplane mode, night light, and it is not like these options were not available earlier in 22.04. Yes, they were there, but now we have more usability. Other than toggle menu, you can see we have a new desktop background. And other than that, if I open my files, if I minimize this one, and if I change its size, you will see you will have sidebar appeared. And if I resize it, the sidebar will be gone. And if you want to see your sidebar in your minimalistic approach you can still do that by clicking on show sidebar option here you can see this has increased the usability and user interface of your files and all the other application and this is all because of your genome 43 so from here if i go with my list option so here you can see now we have more spacing between each category and each directory in here and you can now select more than one with more ease and as you can see, we have more gradient in between all of them and it is more user friendly and pleasing to the eyes. This is all because of Genome 43 and we have a detailed video on Genome 43 and what are the improvements that it have brought into our Linux distribution onto our channel. So go ahead and watch that video. And more importantly, I have discussed Genome 43 with Ubuntu 22.10. So in one video, you will get to know about two things. Other than this GUI improvement, there are many other improvements that have been done because of Genome 43. For example, we have app spread. Let me open another instance of my files. I'll just click on new window. Let's open another one. Now let's minimize all of them. And now if you just click on icon of files, what it will do, it will show you all instances of your files onto your system. Here you can see this is how it looks like. You can click on any one of these and the one that you select will appear onto your desktop. This is how it looks like now that was not available in Ubuntu 22.04. Now I'll head to my Ubuntu 22.04 and let's see what do we have there. This is my Ubuntu 22.04. Let me open my terminal and let's open NeoFetch just like we did in our Ubuntu 22.10. I'll hit enter. 
So here you can see in terms of desktop environment, we have Genome 42.5. Other than that, in terms of the toggle menu, we have different options in here. As you can see in Ubuntu 22.10, we had more options. So that's a big improvement in terms of the usability. And let's see if we have apps thread available in Ubuntu 22.04 or not. So if I just click on it, here you can see we do not have apps thread available. So this is the first improvement that you will see on number two, we have pipe wire. Let me go to the settings. And if I go to the sound section of my Ubuntu 22.10, well, pipe wire have been included in Ubuntu 22.10. In Ubuntu 22.04, we had pulse audio. And you may also have heard a lot about the pipe wire recently. And it looks like that Ubuntu developers now have finally matured enough to include it into your Ubuntu's latest release. Although, it has been available on Ubuntu for some time, but Pulse Audio has been the default audio server for a long time. But it has resulted in high required CPU consumption, Bluetooth connection difficulties, and there were some other issues related to Pulse Audio. But now, with the help of Pipewire, you will see more improvement with your audio files. That is not the case with Ubuntu 22.04. If I go to its setting, let's go to its sound section. So here you will see Pulse Audio. So this was the second improvement that have been done in Ubuntu 22.10. The third improvement that you will see in Ubuntu 22.10 is the kernel version. Because in Ubuntu 22.10, you will get to see kernel version 5.19. Let me just get out of this and let me clear my terminal. And here I'll write uname space hyphen R. Now we get kernel version as 5.19. So basically, your latest Ubuntu gets shipped with this version of kernel. And this kernel release include different improvements for your next generation hardware and new architecture support. And this version of kernel was not there in Ubuntu 22.04. As you will get to see 5.15 version. This is my Ubuntu 22.04. And let's see what version do we have in here. So I'll write here uname space hyphen R. So as I mentioned, we have 5.15. The fourth significant improvement is in terms of the inclusion of WebP. Well, you might have noticed in past few years that we see a new file format in terms of our images on the web, and that is called as WebP. Well, WebP was designed in order to make sure that file sizes are minimal, but they do not lose their quality. So because of that, WebP was introduced and it is from the Google. In Ubuntu 22.10, you have the support of WebP. Let me go to my files, I'll go to my downloads, and here I have a picture or I have an image in WebP format. If I just double click on it, Ubuntu will be open to open this one. But that is not the case with Ubuntu 22.04. This is my Ubuntu 22.04. Let's open our files. I'll go to my downloads and here I have WebP format image. If I just double click on it, it says could not display because Ubuntu 22.04 does not support WebP image formats. So this is another improvement. On number five, we have text editor. Well, now in Ubuntu 22.10, we have a new application for our text file called as text editor and it is also because of genome 43 it is more sophisticated more lightweight and it has more option to go with this is how it looks like and do not worry you can always install the one that you had in ubuntu 22.04 in this ubuntu version now let's go to our ubuntu 22.04 and here if i search text here you can see we have text editor available, but it is not like the one we have in Ubuntu 22.10. Because if I click on this menu option, you see these kind of options in here. Let's go back to Ubuntu 22.10. And this is how it looks like in this one. So this is another improvement that you see in Ubuntu 22.10. So these are different things that you should consider while choosing between Ubuntu 22.10 and Ubuntu 22.04. And the major one is Genome 43, as I have discussed earlier. There is one more improvement that have been done, and that is GTK4. And because of GTK4, now your applications outline, your file manager, your files, and different other things looks more sophisticated and more adjustable to the screen. 
So these are different things that you should consider and that also brings us to the end of today's video. And I hope now that now you understand that why you should consider Ubuntu 22.10 and what are the major improvements that have been done as compared to its prior version. If you like watching this video, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll get back to you in the next video. Till then, take care.